Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about how to onboard Linux server into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint using installer script. And also we are going to do the demo on how to create a Defender policy uh, using your Microsoft Defender for Endpoint security setting management capability. So this is the new capable capability which is offered by Microsoft. Uh, you can use your Defender portal to configure the Defender policies and deploy to your target Linux servers. Uh, so before we start the demo, I just want to quickly go through this document. Uh, I will share this link in the video description. I strongly suggest uh, you uh, all to go through this document before you planning any deployment on Linux environment. Uh, so this document, uh, for example, if you are using uh, the Ansible or Chef or Puppet in your uh, environment as a configuration management tool, in that case, you can go and refer this particular link and it will have a clear instruction about how to do the deployment on those uh, tools. And uh, for this demo, I'm going to use the manual deployment method. In manual deployment method, we have a, a couple of things. Either uh, you can uh, refer the, uh, for example, if you are using the Red Hat Linux and its variant, then you can go and uh, go through this document, I mean links, and you can take the command from the, uh, the section and you can execute in the target server. Or, you have another option of downloading the installer script directly from your GitHub and executing the target server. So we are going for our, in this demo, I'm going to uh, showcase, I mean, show how to uh, do the uh, onboarding using the installer script. So for that, uh, I have already logged into my uh, uh, Linux machine and I'm going to uh, run the uh, command just to make sure I'm running in the right version. Uh, so yes, I'm running on the CentOS Linux 8 and it means uh, it's supported by a Defender for Endpoint and and also I just want to make sure I don't uh, have any MDP, MDATP application is installed on this server. Uh, yes, there is no application is installed. Uh, the reason is uh, I have used the same server for my uh, earlier testing. Uh, so for this demo, what I have done is I have uninstalled the MDATP applications and I have offboarded this machine from the Defender for Endpoint. Okay, so now uh, let me go to the uh, document and uh, so this installer script, uh, you have it have a link uh, for the bash script. So if you click this link, it will take you to the GitHub page where it have a clear instruction of how to use the script. Uh, for example, if you take this uh, uh, sample use case, uh, we, uh, the, the, this particular value that install, it will make sure that uh, you will be installing the uh, MDATP application on the target server. And this uh, channel prod uh, is, uh, we, we are instructing the uh, uh, system to use the prod channel. Uh, there are uh, uh, other channels are also available. For example, insider slow, insider fast, or prod. Uh, so for in this particular example, uh, the prod channel is used. But uh, uh, if you want to have uh, the network protection enabled on, on Linux server, in that case, at this point of time, it is available only on the insider slow, I believe. And, and then we can use the uh, onboard uh, key uh, to call the onboarding script and uh, and and you can also use the same script to uh, tag your uh, uh, servers into some, some specific device group and this minimum uh, requirement key uh, it will enforce any minimum requirement is required for this installation it will enforce those requirements and this uh, uh, y key will make sure that it will assume is for all mid process prompts anything uh, prompt to press uh, Y to continue though in that case uh, uh, it will assume uh, yes for all the uh, mid process prompts so this is the quick overview about the uh, the, uh, the installer script so uh, let me uh, copy the script and go to my uh, CentOS so here uh, before uh, I run this uh, script I just want to show you uh, what are the files I have copied in this uh, machine? So let me list. So here, what I have done is I have already uh, copied my installer uh, script here, and also I have downloaded my uh, onboarding package uh, from the Microsoft Defender portal, and 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 this is the package, and I have extracted this package and and it have the uh, Python script here. So now uh, I'm going to uh, copy the command. So here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, 
or channel as an insider slow instead of production. This is just to make sure uh, I want to enable the network protection on that uh, uh, Linux server. And I have um, I'm providing the uh, onboarding script here, which is I have already uh, e extracted to my location and minimum requirement. And also I'm enforcing as for all the um, git process pop up. And then I'm pressing enter. So it will take a couple of minutes uh, to uh, complete the uh, onboarding uh, process. Okay, it, it seems like the uh, command has executed uh, successfully. Uh, now uh, let me uh, run the uh, MD ATP uh, health command. Okay, and if you uh, see here, uh, and it, it is uh, showing me my organization ID and the healthy status and the uh, the other other uh, options here uh, so this shows that my my device is uh, on board i mean uh, the installation is completed and also we can validate here uh, the the ex exiting code also also confirm me that this ex uh, the script has been successfully ex executed so now uh, it will take up to 20 minutes to onboard the devices in the uh, defender portal uh so we will go to the defender portal and validate the onboarding status so let's see if the devices got successfully onboarded or not let me go to the uh defender portal i mean uh, device uh, section and the device inventory now i could see uh, the target endpoint which we uh, try to onboard it's got successfully onboarded the onboarding status is onboarded here so let me click uh, uh, this uh, device and it will take you the detail about that particular uh, target device here we are going to validate uh, uh, whether it is successfully managed by uh, MDE or not so here uh, under the device management I could see uh, the managed by status is changed to MDE and MDE enrollment status is also saying success so now uh, this device is uh, ready to be managed from the uh, defender portal to deploy the uh, endpoint security policies let's go and see how to create the policies so in the defender portal under endpoint section under configuration management uh, we have to click endpoint security policies uh, so here you will create the policies for your windows mac and linux so in this case i'm going to create the policy for linux uh, server i have already created one policy but let me uh, do how i done that uh, click uh, create new policy and I'm going to choose the platform as a Linux and here you will be having three template either you can create the template using the defender antivirus uh, template or exclusion one or EDR one so I'm going with the uh, uh, defender uh, AV uh, so I'm going to create a, 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 a policy and I'm going to name the policy here and I'm going to click next and here you will be having option to uh, configure the uh, your uh, AV uh, settings. So he, you have a three section here: the cloud delivered antivirus network protection. Uh, here, cloud under cloud delivered protection, you have list of policies will be available, and you can enable uh, whichever is applicable for the environment. Uh, so for this demo, I'm just going to show some policies, and and under antivirus uh, engine section also, you can enable the uh, required policies here. And here if you see uh, there is an option for adding your uh, scan exclusion either you can add the exclusion in uh, this the global policy itself or you can create a separate exclusion policy and target to the specific devices and also uh, you have an option uh, here like a network protection and this will uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, the network protection uh, is applicable only for the uh, uh, the insider slow or release for now uh, but but in future it might be updated to uh, other channels as well so after you choose the required uh, settings uh, here then if you can click next and it will take you to the assignment section here you need to target to which group you want to or deploy this policy uh, in my case I have already created a, a AD group uh, in my portal uh, and, and I have added the the newly uh, the, the device which we saw uh, to onboard the uh, defender for endpoint so that same device has been uh, added to the device group 
so the dev the device group i mean the ad group name is linux and after i select my required group uh, to target the policy then i can click on next and then you can review the settings and you can click save once you click save the policy will get created and assigned to the target endpoint so in my case i have already done this so i'm uh, i have also targeted this policy to my uh, linux uh, group already so let me go back to the uh, uh, the target server so here i'm going to run the same command md atp uh, help this is the command that we used to run to validate the settings so after i run this command so if you noticed here uh, there is an option saying managed so all these uh, managed things are coming from our uh, the existing policy the policy which we have created in the defender portal so before we apply the policy if you see uh, the same command has has been uh, given this information but if you notice that the managed option is missing so it means that that point of time the policy was not enforced but after some time uh, we, now we could see the policy got successfully enforced and by validating this managed uh, uh, information in the mdatp health command and if you noticed here, here uh, it's showing that uh, network protection enforcement level is blocked and managed so uh, since i was uh, using the uh, the insider slow uh, channel and my network protection was uh, enabled here also you can uh, use the your defender portal to validate the uh, the policy here so i mean uh, microsoft defender portal again and i have located the target server and if you click on the security policies here here you can see uh, all the list of policies which is applied to this target server so in my case uh, i have created the linux defender policy and it got successfully applied to the target server Okay, for example if you want to create your exclusion policy for this target server in that case you can click on the uh, 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 you can go to configuration management endpoint security policies and linux policies click create new policy and i'm going to choose the platform as linux and this time i'm going to choose a uh, template as microsoft defender antivirus exclusion and i'm going to click create policy and here you can uh, mention the name uh, you want to name for your exclusion policy and then click next and it will take you to the configuration settings and here it will provide you options list of options available to configure your exclusions and i'm going to add there are uh, uh, three types of uh, exclusions that you can do either path exclusion or file extension or process name so i'm going to add the path uh, here for this demo uh, let's say i uh, i want to exclude my uh, uh, okay. Location. So after I uh, done this, uh, I provide the path. I'm going to click save, and now I can click next, and it will take you to the assignment section. And I want to target this exclusion policy to my all my Linux servers since I have already created my uh, AD group, and I, my devices are already part of this group. And I could see here my three devices are already here, and then I can click on next and i can uh, uh, validate uh, uh, my uh, settings and assignment groups and then i can click save and if i click save and this policy will get enforced to the target uh, endpoint and once the uh, exclusion policy is created it will be uh, uh, listed under the the linux policy section so this is my uh, linux defender policy which i have applied and this is the exclusion policy which i have just created uh, you can also manually sync the policy uh, by uh, going to device inventory and locate the uh, device that you want to do the manual sync and if you go to this section more action section here and the option called policy sync and i'm going to uh, uh, sync this policy by specifying some command and then click confirm and it will take uh, up to 10 minutes to effect on the target machine Okay, uh, let me uh, validate whether, whether my exclusion policies are successfully applied uh, to this target server or not. So for that, I'm going to run the command. So if I run this command and I could see 
uh, the path which I have added in my policy has been successfully applied here. So this is the one I have added in my global policy. Uh, when I, when I create, deploy the uh, Defender AV policy in that I also I have added uh, exclusion and this is the uh, uh, path we have added in the, uh, the separate exclusion policy which is also got successfully applied to the target server. So you can also validate the policies whether it is got successfully applied on the target server or not. So if you click on the Linux policy section and you can highlight any of the policy that you wish to uh, validate the status. And once you click on the policy, it will uh, take you to the more detail about the policy status. For example, uh, it will give you the list of settings that we have configured and how many devices have got successfully applied. And if there is any error in applying that specific setting also you will get those details here and similar way you can validate the same thing in the uh, your uh, target server as well for example uh, i can uh, go to the uh, specific path uh, which is the pc of microsoft md atp managed location and here uh, i can uh, check whether the md the policy the required policy which we have created in the uh, portal has been successfully applied in this devices or not if you do this uh, and it will also give you the uh, the list of uh, policies that we have created in the uh, defender portal for example if you see here our, our exclusion path uh, is also got successfully applied to this device thank you for watching my video i will come up with another informative content in my next video have a great day